If you can help make a difference this week while learning about a special tradition, a Ukrainian fundraiser is happening in the Fox Valley. Fox 11's Gabriella Primus is live telling us all about it. Hi, Gabby. Hi there, Em. Yeah, we're at the Trout Museum of Art this morning because there's going to be a special event happening on Friday and Saturday this week that you're going to want to know about. I am in the process of making my own Ukrainian Easter egg. It won't look like this, but we'll try to make it as pretty as it, as it can be. I'm with Olga. She's one of the facilitators for this workshop that's happening this week. Um, okay, so let's talk about the process and about the event, what people can expect. Yeah, well, thanks for having me and thanks for uh, sharing this information. Mm -hmm. What we're going to have is a Ukrainian Easter Easter egg workshop. Ukrainian Easter eggs are called pisanke. Pisanke, the word derives from pisate. Pisate in Ukrainian means to write. So for Ukrainian people, we don't decorate our eggs, we don't paint our eggs, we write our eggs. So you say that you're writing in a Ukrainian Easter egg. And so we will be providing all of the supplies uh, for our participants. So anyone who wants to join us is welcome. And we're gonna have some tips on how to make a beautiful pisanka. And pisanka is singular, pisanki is plural. And one of the tips, as you know, because you've already started uh -huh. your egg, yep. <laughs> is uh, to put a rubber band to get a straight line and outline it in pencil, just like Gabby has right here, because straight lines are really hard to do on a canvas that's an egg, right? Oh, oh yes, I've learned the hard way this morning. Yeah. Uh, so my egg that I've already started working on because we made a pencil mark of the straight lines and then we used the wax because that is what your writing utensil is in this case. It is, absolutely. And so the actual utensil is called a kiska in Ukrainian. And it's an ancient, ancient tool. And uh, this, uh, this artwork, actually, this wax-resistant art goes back thousands of years. People can do this this weekend. Let's take out my egg while it's, because it's Absolutely. soaking right now in the yellow. We wanted to start with the lighter colors first and then go to the darker colors. Mm -hmm. So we'll be finishing the egg throughout the segments this morning. Uh, oh, it's looking actually pretty nice. And so there's that black wax that I was using. Uh, and you're gonna be here, others are gonna be here during the workshop to be able to help folks. Yes, yeah, so sign up. We have spots available mm -hmm. on Friday and Saturday. Yes, so I have all that information about the workshops that are happening Friday evening and then Saturday on our website, fox11online.com, because you will want to reserve a spot to make your beautiful Easter egg. Thanks, Gabby.